October 4, St. Francis of Assisi. As a young man in his Italian hometown of Assisi, Francis loved parties and good times. He was handsome and rich, so he bought himself the finest clothes and spent money right and left. Francis had no desire to study or to learn his father's business. He just wanted to have fun. Yet he was never impure or selfish. After two illnesses and other adventures, Francis realized that he must serve Christ, and so he began by praying much more and making sacrifices to grow strong in spirit. Once he kissed a horrible-looking leper while giving him money. Often he gave his clothes and money to the poor and served the sick in hospitals. Still, he felt he must do more. He fasted and prayed and began to go around in rags in order to humble himself. It is not hard to imagine how his former rich friends must have looked at him now. His father was so angry that he beat him and locked him up at home. Francis bore all this suffering for love of Christ. And when his father took everything from him in disgust, Francis put all his trust in his father in heaven. He said that he was married to Lady Poverty, and he began to live as a beggar, with no shelter or food but what kind people gave him. Everywhere he went, he urged people to stop sinning and to go back to God, Soon, many men began to realize how close to God this poor man was, and they became his disciples. That is how the great Franciscan order of priests and brothers began. Even after the order had spread all over Italy, Francis insisted that they should not own anything and should all love poverty as he did. The brothers helped the poor and sick, and preached everywhere. St. Francis had the power of working miracles and even of making birds and animals obey him. As a reward for his great love, Christ gave him his own wounds in his hands and feet, but the humble Francis tried to hide them. When he had been sick for a long time and was told he could only live a few more weeks, he exclaimed, Welcome, Sister Death. He asked to be laid on the ground and covered with an old habit. Then he urged his brothers to love God, to love poverty, and to obey the Holy Gospel. I have done my part, he said. May Christ teach you to do yours. For love of God, today I will help someone without asking or accepting a reward of any kind.